Uh, so welcome back guys my name is Amlan and in today's make launch week campaign we go about looking at how we can fix Samsung phone booting into a loop now when I say booting into a loop what do I mean so you may have heard the term boot loop and what this means is when the phone starts when the phone boots it again enters into a start loop or a boot loop so the phone keeps on starting again and again without actually entering inside the OS so what basically happens is it appears as if we are stuck in the logo and like the phone keeps on repeating the starting process often referred to as the boot loop mode now how do we fix any Samsung which is suffering from this issue there are two things it's quite possible that the battery in such devices may have gone bust if that that is the issue you need to replace the battery but also there may be a software glitch and maybe some parts may have come loose if it's the later, if it is this part, let's look at one very wonderful fix. And this fix here is, you need to do three things with the phone. And that is tapping, flapping and massaging. Why we do this? Because we believe that there are many parts in the phone which is like uh, concealed under the front shield and the back shield. And they may have come loose. So when you tap, so give some firm taps to the phone. Likewise in the back, then I want you to flap the phone, some firm flaps, then massage the phone and be very careful when you are massaging the phone. I want you to go from bottom to top and inside out like this, bottom to top inside out like this and firm massages so bottom to top inside out like this like this again give some flaps give some taps and now what you're supposed to do is press the power and the volume down button both together hold on to it until you feel or you can see the logo as soon as you feel the phone vibrate and you see the Samsung logo, you can release those buttons and let the phone boot up. Now earlier what used to happen is you see this, you see the Samsung thing, again you see the uh, build of the phone Samsung N51, again this logo and it kept on happening. That is why it's called a loop because the same thing happens again and again and again and again. So try doing this, uh, try tapping the phone, then like flapping the phone, then massaging the phone. And then obviously you need to like charge the phone so that it has some battery in it. Otherwise the phone won't boot up. But then press the power and the volume down button. And hopefully you will see the phone boot up like we have seen here in this video. So do let me know if this works. I mean you can repeat the steps, the same steps uh, with the power and the volume up button both together. Until you see the logo and then the phone boot up as normally. So these are basically the same things that you can do. Uh, a normal power pressing should also help but this is a little more uh, like you know proven method wherein people have often reported to me that pressing the power and the volume down button really works. And if you are thinking that oh my god in this century also we have to tap flap and massage the phone it's because like I already explained there are certain peripheral or phone parts which are like inside the phone body and those parts may have come loose which may result into this boot loop issue so once when you like kind of tap flap and massage the phone those parts fall back in place and therefore like maybe some things get corrected but if it is like you know a hardware issue a battery issue then obviously this should not uh, like be expected to be fixed by this method one more advice that i want to give you is like once you have entered the phone simply go ahead and uh, Enable the developer option. So go to software information, tap on the build number some six, eight times. Once you have become a developer, you can go back and like inside settings, uh, like at the bottom, you will see there is the developer options. So scroll down until you see tethering of hardware. So like this is under networking, tethering of hardware acceleration. Just turn this on. What this means is if there is a better alternative or a better uh, software available, the phone will use that. Somehow this stuff also helps in preventing the boot loop from happening. So go ahead and do this and in case if you have installed certain 
uh, software prior to which the boot loop is happening. And if you think that maybe this app is resulting, you can go ahead and uninstall that app as well. Sometimes there are apps which kind of, you know, interfere with the OS, creating a conflict resulting in the boot loop. So maybe just go ahead and uninstall certain third party applications which you have recently installed before the boot loop happened and hopefully you are good to go. If all of this is helpful, kindly consider subscribing. Please do share this with your friends and family. Do let us know in the comment section how you find this video. And one more big request and that is if you have a smartphone and if you are having certain issues, do let us know so that we can invest in the smartphone that you have and also spend some time troubleshooting the solutions so that we can fix your issues. So that's all from my side. I hope to catch you in the next one. Have a great day and a fantastic weekend.